Script writers, let's have a talk, yeah? I get where you're coming from. You put out your best work of all time last season. Close game after close game where I came out on top with a clutch play here and there. I love it. Great job. And after that spectacular season, after all the promotions, all the raises you were given, this is what you give me. A 16 to 17 game outmatched, but still able to score with no time left. I go for two like any man with giant gorilla balls would. And somehow, some way, I got intercepted by a defender behind my big body, TJ Hawkinson. So let's talk, script writers. What kind of script is that? What are you, what are you setting me up for here? I mean, I, I kind of get what you're saying. Like, you know, 0-2 to start the season, 5-0 run to make the playoffs, win the Super Bowl when, it, when hope looked lost. Except I don't have a quarterback. I don't have a left tackle. I don't have a corner. I don't have a D-line. I don't have half a safety. My kicker is Katie York. I get what you were going for, but how do you expect me to win today? Or five straight? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wheel of Mutt. Script writers are not happy with me. I must have banged their wife or something. I still have my cold sore from Venus Sky. Yeah! Whatever. It happens. And I made my decision at the end of last episode. I lost, but I completed my challenge wheel so I could salvage one of my wheel spins. I salvaged the three times store packs. After sitting down and thinking about it, this is a significantly better decision because with just one spin today, I can get a new good quarterback. Even all three spins, I could never fill this many role player positions unless I got lucky and got a pack spin again. So Nick Allegretti, John Runyon, Jack Driscoll, Justin Watson, Tevin Coleman, Trey Flowers, Milton Williams, JJ Watt, and Bobby Wagner. They all stay on the team since I salvaged that wheel spin. Granted, I no longer have that increase. That Matty Ice was so good, dude. I threw like 18 for 22. The only interception I had was BS. I loved him. He did have to go. So we still have a lot of positions to fill. We're 0-2, so I can't lose this next game. Otherwise, I'm booted and we have to restart the season, which would be an absolute, oh, I'd be so pissed. If I had to restart the season this early, I'd be so pissed. I don't think I've ever started out 0-3. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel em Up, baby. So let's hop right in, gentlemen. First things first, I need a quarterback. And I need a quarterback badly. Let's see if this first wheel spin can give me a quarterback. Why not? I Ooh, I can bring him right back. I can literally resurrect him. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. Hey, let, let's see our options. Before I go crazy, let's see our options. Okay, so there's the 96 Lamar and there's 96 Matty Ice. So there's two really good quarterback options. There's Jamal Adams Prez. I think that's a no. Oh, I could get King Henry, bro. I could get the punter. There are so many good options. Dude, all of these cards are so good that this is really, really difficult. I've made my decision. I'm going to let Matt Ryan and die on his hill. Matt Ryan played amazing. I'm not resurrecting him. He's he's dying with that episode. I'm putting that episode behind me. For King Henry, I'm more than happy to have on the squad. The 6'3", 255, 96 speed, 97 break tackle, and an absolutely insane ability. It's not actually as good as Quadfathers. I think Quadfathers is better since King Henry gets it like five on and then three off, but King Henry is so good. It doesn't matter if he has it on or not. I get Bruiser for free, and then I'll give him Tank, uh, and that's a total of two AP for probably the best hat back in the game. King Henry will be the starter. Tevin Coleman's the backup. Okoye's blocking. We have Brock Purdy at quarterback. So now let's get a quarterback. But I like how we started. I'm sorry, Matty Ice. I was thinking about it, but I think I can get a quarterback with a different spin. It doesn't have to be an AKA quarterback. There's a lot of good options. I have literally never got... This spin has been on the wheel for over a year. I have never gotten it. So last episode, we did a Madden 20 spin. We went and opened packs. This is a little different. We get 50,000 coins to spend on one player per legendary player we get on our team. So if you guys remember Madden 20 Superstar KO, you get to draft three players of random rarity. So I literally could get three legendaries right out the gates for 150k. Then in Superstar KO, you'll play other players. And if you beat them, you have the opportunity to steal players off their team. So the the absolute best case scenario is I draft three legendaries and then I steal three legendaries and I go undefeated for six legendaries, 300,000 coins to spend on one player. Hey, just let me draft at least one legendary so I'm guaranteed coins. That would be so goaded. Come on, baby, one. As if I'd ever pick a female as my coach. <laughs> Ah! That's hilarious. It's it's hilarious, really. I'm being the magicians, baby. They got our PLP zone bubble. All right, my offensive pick. Oh, no legendary. I'm just gonna take Mike Evans. He actually is kind of nasty. He gets double me. Damn, nothing right now. I'm gonna go Khalil Mack with Unstoppable Force. Need the legendary here. Need it. Need it. Need it! 
Let's go! All right, now, if I was cheating, I would count this as two legendaries, but it's not since only one goes on my team. Guess I'll go little Yachty just because I need a quarterback to win. So right now, I've got 50K. If I win here and take Anthony Barr, 100K. I know this is cheesy, but I don't care. I, I need this player for Wheel of Mutt. It's probably a handoff read. Oh, no, it's not. Great. Excellent play. God, this play was such a menace. Score the touchdown, get the two-point conversion, win the ball game. All right, get our two-point conversion, lock this game up. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good defense. There is no way you just made that throw. He's got Nick Foles. I got to stop him right here, right now. Not this time. Not this time! Wait a minute! House it for the win! House it for the win! Don't you dare get caught! He's in! I get to poach one of his players. That's 100k for my second legendary here. Why don't I get a free agent option? I'm just gonna go Harrison Smith. Oh no. He's got a full legendary team. I would not have minded that. Ooh! We're gonna end this game quick! Base Micah Hyde lurks Mahomes all on his own. Takes it to the crib. All right. I have to get a legendary option here. I absolutely have to get a legendary option here. There it is. There's free agents. Offset is a halfback? I'm gonna run offset a halfback. I need a halfback. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Get up! Xavier Rhodes! We get in the end zone, we get 150k. And he quit! That is a W, baby! We get a final pick on defense. There has to be a legendary in here, right? It is our third legendary player. 50k a piece, 150k to spend on one player. There are exactly zero 94 overall quarterbacks for less than 150k. I take that back. There is one. It's Tom Brady. I don't want 94 overall Tom Brady. I'm gonna get a different position. I've always wanted this Marshawn Lattimore. They gave Marshawn Lattimore a 93 Matthew Berry team of the week. It's kind of fire. Six foot, 93. It's it's basically basically just Shaq Griffin from before, but it's Marshawn Lattimore. But I'm not taking a quarterback with that. Damn, if I got one more legendary, it would have been a lot different. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our third and final wheel spin. We need a quarterback and we need one bad. I really do not want to trot Brock Purdy out there. And that's going to get us a quarterback. Let's go. 95 jackpot. Any 95 overall quarterback in the game, there's going to be tons of good options. You know who I kind of want? I just don't know if he's good. I'm going to have to look up some reviews on him or something. I want 95 overall Cam Newton. I think that'd be a really cool quarterback to use. Cam Newton got this 95 for zero chill. He's super tall. He's super fast. His accuracies are really good. His throw on the run isn't great. That concerns me a little bit. He gets super weird discounted abilities. He gets like tank and bruiser. He is strong arm, so he should get gunslinger for not too expensive. Fearless for one AP is awesome. <laughs> this is so weird. Like, am I really gonna run leapfrog or tank or bruiser? Fast break is improved blocking on design QB runs. I don't have a lot of that in my playbook, but it's literally free. So I'm gonna put it on there. Set feet lead is four. Gunslinger is two. I'm gonna run gunslinger. I think I'm supposed to run set feet lead. I have the AP to run identifier, but at three AP, it's so expensive. I just, I have a lot of room on this team. Probably should be set feet lead instead of gunslinger, but I'm just gonna try this. All right, gentlemen, wish me luck. I'm gonna need it, man. We got King Henry in. We got Cam Newton, Okoye. So backfield's beautiful. Our line's a little mid. Challenge wheel, I'll say one thing. The challenge wheel has clutched up this season. We may be 0-2, but the challenge wheel has been there for us. Our challenge wheel to score 31 plus points. This is one of the hardest challenges on the challenge wheel, but I think it's possible. Fred Warner, Megatron, King Henry on the top three. Gilly Lock, Micah High, Drew Bledsoe. I don't care who you have. I got to win right now. Probably a stretch. I'm going to get on Palomalu. There it is. There it is. Blow it up. Hey, let's go. TFL. Same thing, other side. Get there. Get there. Oh, I was there with Fred Warner, but we didn't blow it up. Damn. Freddy boy. Hey, that's a sack. Milton Williams. Let's send Micah Parsons off the edge. We're going to guest pass. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's why you don't guess pass, ladies and gentlemen. Play action. Micah! Micah gets home. He goes play action. Micah's not having any of it. Second and 22. Does he run the ball now again? He does. Oh, no. A read option. Lattimore's out there. Hey, good work, good work, good work. So far, we're playing good defense. I'm pretty happy. I just can't get lit up by something right now. We're good. We're good. Milton again. I'm going to send so many people. He's not going to have time to throw 18 yards. We know it's a pass. Hey, exactly. Not enough time. Okay, if we want to score 31 points, we guess our are fast. Let's see if Jefferson beats the man coverage. Look at Hawkinson. 
You just got dotted up. Ooh, Cam Newton, great ball. Although I could tell, I could tell the velocity on that ball was a lot slower than Matt Ryan. I think I do need set feet lead. I think I gotta go set feet lead. Although I'll take a scramble right here, Cam. Outrun him. Outrun him. I'm liking this Cam Newton already. I'm really hoping that this is a zone and Michael Irvin is wide open. It might have been possible. <laughs> That was a horrible ball, and he just threw a pick six. I have Fearless on. Oh, you want a showboat for that shit. You didn't do a damn thing. Hawkinson was wide open. That's funny. All right, let's go score. Oh, I'm so mad at the fucking scriptwriters, bro. Fearless, immune to defensive pressure while in the pocket, and yet he threw a horrible ball because he was under pressure? I don't get it. Oh, look at Hawk. Look at Big Hawk. See, now there's a perfect ball. Another variation of man coverage here. Go, King Henry. Oh, I wasted all of King Henry's uh, freight train downs, so that is a bummer. Oh, he's so there. Beauty. Hell of a ball, Cam Newton. Make that third and three. I'm just going to do it again. He ain't going to be there. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. It's kind of funny. That's the ball I got picked on in last game, but I caught it this time, and it was Justin Jefferson who caught it too. Let's see if I can get this corner out out of Hawk. Ooh, you're torched. You're absolutely torched. That might be a touchdown. <sighs> He owns you. He owns you, fraud. You never should have showboated, buddy. You never should have showboated. You'll regret that. You're not going to stop regretting that. Okay, Mike Irvin in the corner. Ah, okay. Nice interception. I don't even care. I think I got to lurk him with Fred Warner. Oh, throw one of those. You will throw an interception so fast if you throw one of these balls. <sighs> That's criminal. What is that? He's going to run left side. Fred Warner's there. Excellent open field tackle. Second and eight. Yup. Blow it up. Blow it up. Fred, for the inches. I've stopped this before. I know it's QB sneak. Nice play. He's in goal line. Probably just a goal line run. Maybe right up the middle-ish. Oh, we're so on this. Get him out of bounds. That's, that was actually the best case scenario because that stops the clock for me. I'm going to stay on Fred. Kind of wanted him to pass. Ooh, this could be so good if he can make a mistake right now. The whip is not there. That's not there. Good high ball. Great high ball. I would have lurked that. Maybe I'm not giving my opponent enough credit. That was a good play right there. All right, so down eight, 25 seconds. I retain a timeout, and I get ball at half. First and 10, 23. You know what? I'm just going to hand this off. This is linebacker blitz zero, but he's got freight train. Hey, now we got to get to the boundary. Let's just get Cade York in range. Why does it look like Justin Jefferson's a touchdown? Is that actually open? Nah, it's not. Oh, Get out of bounds. Shit. I can't spike it. I don't have time to. Damn, nice catch. 9 to 14 is a bigger deal than 6 to 14, but I got to turn him over to win the game anyway. <laughs> See if Justin Jefferson can take his man if he can. Look at Hawkinson. Oh, look at why. Look at Phillips, man. Clean pocket, too. Really clean pocket. First and 10. Gonna go attack right at him. There's Freight Train Henry. Is Hawkinson gonna be there? Oh, he is. You got the leverage, right? <laughs> Hawkinson, I'm not going to lie. I would have loved that last game. I would have loved that kind of catch and effort last game. Ooh, double me. Double me on big dog. Oh, I could get a Michael Irvin, though. Michael Irvin. That was so stupid. That was, like, unbelievably stupid pass. Second and ten. I'm going to go with Cam up the middle. Mmm, what a beast. Holy shit. No fumbles. Big play for pipe layer right here. Michael Irvin! What are you doing, Justin Jefferson? That was a touchdown! My teammate just ran a pick on me! He just blew up our play, and I just got an encroachment. Justin Jefferson just stopped a Michael Irvin touchdown. <laughs> I can't believe that. I don't know what he was gonna throw, but I don't think it was open. Oh, that is open. Nice route. Does he run the ball? Is he chewing clock? How's that not a big hit? Fred Warner, I flattened him. Fourth and two, he's going for it. This guy is ballsy. An interesting play call. Ooh, nice play. I should have known when he hot routed that. I should have gone over there. Hey. Hey, that's a nice sack. This game isn't over because it's one possession right now, but it very much feels over. I just, I can't get a, I can't catch a break right now. Hey, what a stop. Oh, we're there. What? I almost sacked him, first of all. <laughs> Perfect coverage. Breaks three tackles, goes into the end zone. Oh my god, I can't believe this. He's just in the cheesiest man blitz he found on, on YouTube.com. I'm not even having that much trouble with it. That pick six was pure robbery. Justin Jefferson steals the ball from Michael Irvin on a touchdown. Press coverage on Jefferson. I like that. 
he might have him. Ooh, nope. Hatback stretch behind Okoye with King Henry. Oh, well, I guess if nobody blocks the outside guy, it, it is nowhere near as good of a play. Still gonna go for it. See if they block him this time. What an unbelievable game. So this is fourth and 15. He scores this touchdown. Micah Parsons in his face, just throws the ball right through his face. Fuck it, right? Fuck it, I'm getting that ball off. And then Palomalu just dunked on. Perfectly blanketed, man. It was excellent, man, coverage. And not to mention, he breaks a tackle from three guys right after. Just to score. Just insult to injury. So we'll start there. This is fucking hilarious. This is when I was going to score. So I've got the ability fearless. The fearless ability so that when I'm standing in the pocket, granted, I haven't hardly moved. I've moved a yard. I'm still in the pocket. Look at this. He throws this ball to Matt Milano. I never could have caught this ball. Unbelievable. Hawkinson open right here. He just possession catches it for two, three yards. Why does it go that far? Hawkinson is three yards from this football. I got fearless on. There's not even any pressure. Clean pocket. Look at this. Where the fuck are you throwing this ball? I'm so tilted. This season sucked. Three losses. It might be the first time in history I got three straight losses. That's it. Season resets. We go back to a clean slate with just our prestiges and we start fresh. We start brand new. Next episode. Hey, I love you boys. Next season will be a redemption season. I'm gonna talk to the script writers. Fire all of them clean house and figure out what's going on i love you boys thanks for watching as always i'll see you in the next one peace